Welcome back to Tabletop Titans. We have an exciting day today because we are unboxing a brand new army. This is the Tempestus Scions. Yeah. It's an army I've wanted to have for a very long time. And uh, a member of the community um, reached out to me. In fact, it's a funny story. Mm. I was looking on eBay and yeah. I was trying to buy this army and I found this Scions army that I really liked. It was like this winter themed, it was really cool. And I kept bidding on it, bidding on it. And then, um, I was really, like, I was going to buy it for right, sure. Right. I'd even told you, like, I'm going to yeah. get this army. And then um, I wasn't paying attention right near the end of the auction, and someone just bid over me by, like, a dollar <laughs> or something. And I definitely would have won this bid yeah. if I just kept at it. And um, later, I was talking on stream about, right. like, oh, I was sad I missed this eBay auction. And it turns out it was one of our viewers <laughs> who was selling the army. Yeah. And they messaged me and say, oh, that was you bidding on this thing. And they went back and, and, and found me. And they said, you know what? I'll paint you up another one. That's amazing. And I was like, wow, that's really, really great. Yeah. Um, and they are a painter. Actually, I'll, I'll uh, give a shout out in a, in a little bit uh, what they're, they just put up a new website. Mm -hmm. oh, cool, um, cool. So I don't remember it offhand, but it's in my, uh, it's in my Discord, so yeah, I'll, I'll yeah. message it. And we'll throw it in the description as well. Mm. Um, but they were really great, and they said, yeah, I'll do it. And uh, we, uh, we just got the box right. like two days ago. We haven't opened it at all. So I haven't, been I haven't seen it. You haven't seen no. it. We don't know. So we're going to open it right now mm -hmm. uh, for you all. So uh, how about we just get started? Let's do this thing. All right. Let's open some more hammer. So we've got this. It says fragile. Mm. It's time. I, I'll make the knife small. <laughs> Thank you. And this <laughs> and is how you ruin a <laughs> hammer. This is right. <laughs> um, so the army here that I got, it's basically um, a bunch of infantry, yeah. which is what you do with Classic. the science. Yep, yep. Um, a lot of packing peanuts here. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite. That's right. You're going to have some Oh, here. thank you. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Free. Let's see what we got. We're going to give you some close-ups. Oh, we got a bag of bits. This is for all of the... Uh, oh, my God. This is for all the tanks. It's all the fixings. And uh, it's for all the tanks and the, the planes, I think. Very nice. So very nice. The, these are the uh, oh, missile cool. launchers and auto cannons and things like that. That's awesome. Um, all right. I'll, you, we can, you can help me unpack some of this yeah, stuff. Yeah, actually. Let's do this. Um, oh, it's a big one. Oh, gosh. <laughs> is it a sailboat? Yeah. <laughs> is it an elephant? So, um, I will, I'll show you. I actually had them painted um, as the Lambden Lions. That's right. And uh, the Lambden Lions, if you don't know, are like red and goldish. Mm -hmm. um, so here, I've got a few things. We'll open them up. This open them up. got the main tape is off. And our right. little wing segment. <laughs> <laughs> I think this looks like it could be a Valkyrie. Oh no, it might be a, a forge roll plane. Let's see. Uh, let's see how well it stood up to to transport. We've got a wing that came off here, so oh we're gonna have gosh. to. You should grab a glue. We Is could that do a it. Hand? That's amazing. Yeah, it's That's got so it's got like a hand done Lambda line symbol. Yeah. Um, this forge roll. It's a little. It's a. Brittle here, so it looks like some of that came off. Yeah, it's that resin. Um, it's the resin, yeah. Does that? Does that? That looks so sick. <laughs> what? Yeah. So um, we'll show you the the hand done work here. You can here. I'll show it in this camera here. You can see there's like the the wings are painted. That's amazing. Um, uh, but some of the resin it uh, it came off, so we'll have to glue this one back together. Yeah, no worries. Um, this is a really great forge roll plane. It dumps out. Tons and tons of shots. Yeah, it's classic. Uh, it's really, really classic. I love the like the, the turbine. Like the whole main thing is actually just a giant turbine. Yeah, that's right. So cool. Oh, these are looking great. Oh my gosh. Let's see if we can. Uh, get to see these are the main, the main scions here. So awesome. I really like the red too. That's really, really poppy right there. I, I, I like red armies. Uh, Bridger likes red armies too. So uh, I thought uh, mm -hmm. he would have an appreciation for the, uh, for the red armies. Uh, well, you know what's good about them too? Is they go faster. That's right, absolutely. Ooh, got my first uh, Torox here. Uh, Look at that red, oh my god. Yeah, the Torox is a lot of fun. It's so good. And uh, they already, the nice thing about the, the Land and Lions is they've already got like, there's the line uh, symbols and everything like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's great iconography for, for an army, right? I, you know, mm -hmm. I've never actually seen it, to be honest, and I was like, this is really cool. I'll show you the Lambda Lines rules here. Um, yeah, what do they even do? <laughs> so, 
It's called Prized Weaponry. It's okay. the 133rd Lambda Lions. Naturally. It's the 133rd work extensively with the Adeptus Mechanicus in the recovery of lost knowledge and arcane technologies. In exchange for their service, the Adeptus Mechanicus sees fit to reward them with esoteric augmentations for their vehicles, armor, and weaponry. Sounds like heresy. Uh, improve the armor penetration of weapons, uh, of weapons models with this Doctrine have by one. That's right. So just straight up AP1 across the entire army. That's so good. On an army that has tons of hotshot lads, uh, lads already. Yeah, basically um, your hotshot lads go to AP3. That's great. So your LAS gun is a plasma. Yeah. <laughs> and your auto cannons and missile launchers are all more dangerous. So cool. uh, your planes that have lots of DACA all of a sudden are spitting out really high AP shots, right? Exactly. So, no, yeah, because that's one of the <clears> things is even with like this flyer, for example, right? It's known for putting out high volume with no AP, right? So yeah. that actually does help you take it to the next level. It's looking it's so good. Pretty impressive, yeah. Take a look at some of these other guys. So the Lambda here. Lines are, are definitely my favorite. I just like the idea that they just have. Like, really tooled up weapons. Yeah. Really, really slick. Really great. That's hey, what, we have a glue on the shelf. You yeah, wanna, yeah. You want to tack this thing back together? See if we can <laughs> we get no. it to hold? Oh, no. No pressure. Hey, Bridger, did we have a, did we have a super chat? Uh, yeah, we have a couple super chats. Uh, thank <laughs> you, Alexandros. <laughs> Just no spoilers for yesterday's game. I'll watch it later tonight. By the way, Lambda Lions are my favorite with Deltic Dragons. Hope to see Gatling Torox soon. Oh, cool. Yeah, Gatling oh, no Torox is... Uh, if you don't know, the Torox can have the Gatling guns that are on the... Like the Punisher Gatlings. Oh, really? Yeah, and so oh, they yeah. actually get AP. That's amazing. Um, did they say they like the the Iodin Dragons? Deltic Dragons. The Deltic Dragons. There's two dragons. I don't know the Deltic that's Dragons. Wild. Oh, that's... Um, I think the Deltic Dragons is um, in the stories, but I don't think they have their own... Um, I don't think they have their own ability. <clears throat> there is the uh, Iodin Dragons here, which gives six inch range to rapid fire, um, which can be pretty good because these guys don't want to get right. too, too close. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, that's, that's one of their weaknesses, right? <clears throat> yeah, one of their weaknesses uh, they drop is in and then they, they get so close and they yeah, die. Exactly, exactly. All right. I, um, I'm excited. If, if anybody in chat plays um, Science, I'd be curious to know they're, they're kind of like best army lists. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, you know, one of the things I'm trying to struggle with is how much do you like to add things like Bulgarin and stuff to this army? Because Bulgarin go really well, in my right. opinion, in the, uh, in the, in the normal Astro Militarum, but they don't really fit the theme they're so very, well. Yeah, they're very, yeah, they're, the complete, they're kind of the, the complete opposite, right? Yeah, they don't fit the theme so well of this army, and they work really well in this army, but I don't know that they're like, a perfect match. Yeah. I'm curious yeah. how many people like to do that. Yeah. I totally agree. God, these guys are so cool. I remember um, I used to really love the, uh, they were actually called like Stormtroopers at the time. Yeah. Uh, which the like the Kazakin kind of stuff. Oh, um, so great. This is my plasma. Here's it got my plasma here. So good. Let's take a look. On my medic. This is my command squad too. Oh, so okay. Yeah. So I've got my medic here. So good. And, uh, some hot shots. Mm -hmm. So nice. I love this, and I love this scheme. Yeah, the red, you honestly like red and gold. You can't go wrong. I'm about to do another red and gold army, which is the uh, the world leaders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Far more heretical than these guys. Well, I'm really into, especially it's like it's this like burnished gold, this really yeah. rich kind of gold there. Um, really, really awesome. So the medic, uh, it's funny, it's like, you compare this medic to uh, to an apothecary. Oh, don't do that. And this medic can heal one wound on a on a four up. Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> and uh, and the wound you're healing is to a character that like it doesn't even matter. Right. Right. You know exactly. Um, or you can res one model on a four up. <laughs> um, and the dude's not a character, so he can just be shot and killed. You know. Wait, really? It's like a single model. No, yeah. he's part of a command squad. Oh, okay, okay. So they can um, all be shot and killed. So he's got his he's yeah. got his vox like here. This is the this is the guy with the vox, vox caster right there, and um, so cool. Oh, got the melted guns coming out. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. I think I did. Um, I think I did ten or twenty with melta, and then ten or twenty with plasma. I'm not really sure. We'll have to right. count it out when we uh, when we finally get them out yeah, of the box. Absolutely. I, um, so we're going to be playing this army for the first time on Tuesday. 
uh, this coming Tuesday, and we're going to have a vote up tomorrow about what, what they should face. I'm wondering, we don't have really any opinions here about what should be in that vote. No. Maybe in chat, let us know what do you think would be interesting armies that we could put up for a vote uh, that would be a good match. Like, we don't want to, we want to pick something where this faction is going to have a chance, right? We yeah. don't want to pick like something that's just going to instantly win against it. Yeah. That's not fun. Exactly. Um, but we, we simultaneously, we don't want to pick something that doesn't have a chance against Correct. it either. It's, we want yeah. it to be good, good games. It's, it should be a good game that shows their strengths, right? So it's all about AP. It's about being able to drop in. So I think yeah. one thing that's important yeah. is... Yeah, don't, don't do it against demons yeah. where the AP is irrelevant. Exactly. We can play Terminus S again if you want. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you take some Plague Marines this time instead of Poxwalkers. Yeah, yeah. No, I was saying if we took the Poxwalkers, it'd be a... That'd be a bad, bad matchup. That, that wouldn't be the best. So we just screen it out and then there's no AP, so stuff like that. Although yes. the hotshots would just clear them in an instant. Uh, well, yeah, regardless of AP. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> just so many shots. It's just so cool. Ooh, very, very another cool. plane coming out. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, the glue was uh, clogged, as they do. Oh, no. <laughs> <I know. laughs> wow. Okay. How many infantry did you get? I don't know, 80. <laughs> 80? Maybe maybe 90. Because I, I added on, I think I started with 80, mm -hmm. and then I and then I asked for a couple command squads. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so it you know it starts adding up. <laughs> so good. Alright. I um, the one thing I probably I want to add on to this more next yeah. is uh, more planes actually. I want to have more of an uh, air force. Yeah. And I think um, rather than do the air force in the colors of my uh, in the colors of my death core. Uh -huh. I want to do my Air Force probably more in the Scions. I like it. Um, and you could still play them together, right? Like the, the Air Force uh, really is like a separate uh, Entity, group. Yeah. yeah, right. It's the Imperial, the uh, Aeronautica Imperialis, exactly. right? Oh my gosh. That. Oh, he's the Tempestor Prime. So cool. He's got his command rod. I always wondered, you know, the command rod gives you one extra order. Uh -huh. And it's like, what is it doing? Is it like yeah. you're shaking it at people? And, <laughs> you gotta uh, shake a stick at them. Yeah, They exactly. were like not gonna listen to him? Oh my gosh, but this one has a mustache, so. Oh, he's I great. Know. I feel like that has to be your Tempestor Prime. We, uh, okay, chat, give us names. Well, who, what's the name for the Tempestor Prime with the mustache and the one without the mustache? Only wrong answers. Only wrong <laughs> answers. <laughs> there you go, guys. <laughs> Here's some more Command Squad stuff. Gosh, the braids are so good. Oh, he's a medic. He's like all bloody. Look at he's a little chainsaw on the end of his yeah, exactly. <laughs> pistol. And the chainsaw is not for killing people. It's for opening them up. I mean, yeah. It's for saving them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, don't worry, I'll save you. Take a look at this guy. And then here. you're like, no, please no. <laughs> Let no, me die. I don't want to be saved. Ooh, Got more, more airplanes. Is it a squig off? <laughs> yeah. Heresy. Oh my gosh. Got the flight stands for this... Uh, Valkyrie here. Oh, nice. So the Valkyries are really pretty key to the army, right? If you don't know, the Valkyries let you drop out at any point along your movement. Right. So it's kind of like deep striking turn one. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you can really force your opponent to have to be very careful because you have such a lethal amount of firepower, right? Exactly. Not exactly. to mention, they, they actually put out some shots too. So... Oh, uh, yeah. Um, and the one thing is when you... If you move over 20 inches and you drop out, you die on ones. Right. But if you move under 20 inches, then you don't. Which in ninth edition, like to be fair, is a long way. very, very Like imagine you yeah. were at your deployment zone, and yeah. you dropped out um, within nine, within nine inch, or like you could drop out next to it, and so you could be way, way, way over half the board, yeah. Yeah. right? Exactly. Without, without having to take any penalty. And all you do is you put the plane in hover, and the plane gets plus one to hit when it's in hover. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, That's it's awesome. a, the roving gunship rule. Yeah. And so it's kind of like, I don't see any reason to necessarily risk losing your models. Yeah. Um, when you could just, uh, when, when you can just move 20 inches, exactly. or like move 19 inches, I guess, because yeah, you can't yeah. move 20. <laughs> oh, the, tw the 20 is when you trigger it? Yeah, you trigger it at 20. <laughs> um, here, this is the flight stand for, thank, for thank that, that one there. Did that one come through unscathed? Yeah, it did. Oh, that's a that's I a see the magnets, no, that's the wrong yeah. one. Those for those are for the Forge World. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Maybe not the crumpled ones. Oh gosh, they're both crumpled. Yeah, both of those uh, yeah, sustain some resin. some battle damage. Yeah, it's, it's um, all good. that's that's what resin is. It does that? Safe on the shelf now. Never this have is to the flight again. stand for that one. Thank you. 
I'm really impressed by this this hand uh, hand painted work. The uh, free hand. yeah the the freehand here. Let me find uh, remember the name of the website. Boop. I'll get it right here. Yeah. <laughs> you have to. I don't know. Do we have another question? We do, Brian. We have a few actually. Thank you, oh, John. Nice. Shout out to Shane McDee, who is also getting a Scion Army soon. Very oh. nice. 20 Reaper Warriors, uh, MWBD. I, want, I, want I will be done. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, King reroll, six to hit, auto wound. Fish for sixes is amazing, versus yeah. T5. That's really cool. Yeah, I guess, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's awesome, definitely enjoy. Uh, that'll be a fun matchup, too. Very nice. Still, you still going, Brian? Uh, yeah, it's oh, so. Name, yeah. I'm just pulling up uh, the website. Cool. Um, I, I have. It's uh, the painter was Marshall Peterson. I knew that, but I was just looking for the actual the website yeah. that they sent me. Here it is: HolyTerraGaming.com. So HolyTerraGaming.com. Sweet. Uh, they just put this site up, and um, honestly, Marshall was really great. Marshall did this army so fast, which if you know uh, me, yeah. If you know me, <laughs> I'm really impatient yeah. uh, when it comes to uh, like, commissions. I'm on something else already. Like I, I once I decide I want this army, it's like I want to play with it right <laughs> now. That's right. And uh, Marshall did this so fast, yeah, I was yeah. really amazed, especially because it's so much detailed infantry, mm -hmm. and that's the that's like the slowest thing exactly. you could ever ha ask someone to paint. When someone's like, "Hey, would you paint a hundred infantry for me?" Like, nope. Uh, <laughs> it's a big job, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, they did they did a great job. That's awesome. So definitely check out Holy Terra Wargaming. And we'll put the link in the de yeah. description, guys, of course. Um, oh, yeah, it's another plane. How many planes did you get? A few. I thought you only got, like, three. No, three of each. Three. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you want to expand this this? Yeah, aircraft. well, this is, uh, I think I got, no, two and two and three. Two and three. Yeah. Well, that's, that's not enough. And then I got four... Uh, Torox here as a starting point. Yeah. yeah, that's classic. So you get three of the. This is the flight stand for this one. Thank you. Three of the Valkyries mm -hmm. and two of these uh, vultures here. Yeah. Because here, let's uh, let's bring up the profile because I don't have it memorized. Yeah. Of the uh, the vulture, we'll show you this one. It's really good. Did anyone in chat have any naming ideas? Oh, here. Let me see if I can get chat pulled up here. I would uh, love to see because these guys they don't have names yet. They haven't earned them. No. You know, you have exactly. to earn your name on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that chat is long gone, Adrian. You're never gonna find it. Oh, because it's not gonna. Refresh <laughs> it's dead. Here. It's dead to us. No. It's, uh, that was like more than two minutes ago. Yeah. I don't think you can even scroll that far back. I really hate the mobile chat on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. It's really terrible. You'll have to open it in a browser and then force desktop. Yeah. And exactly. then zoom. You'd be like, ah, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm a, I'm a desktop. And then this is, oh yeah, this is for the Forge World stuff. Do you have a list in mind or? Um. You're just kind of like getting the toys that you want, and then yeah, I didn't start with a list. And this is definitely that's more not than the way could. that's not the way I do things yeah, yeah, typically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, probably the way I should, but it's not the way I typically do it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Let's get some more of these models here because they look sick. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let me just check something. Oh uh, yeah, ben. you guys like those blurry shots? <laughs> there we go. I've been also kind of obsessed with this style of green on anything as like the glow. Obviously, I have it on my Dracari, but I just really, really like that like super, uh, super yellow, like bright, bright green neon, like lemon laminator uh, as like a really nice contrast to basically anything. It's yeah. So sick. Um, so you have uh, the so the vendettas and the vultures, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. These are the vendettas. Yeah, and the vulture. I'll show you the vulture gunship. Um, rules here. So the vulture, yeah, th no, this is the vulture here. Um, oh, right. Yeah, and uh, the vulture here has the vulture Gatling Cannon. It's a heavy 20, Ooh. strength 5, 0 AP, but 1 AP, That's one. That's and 1 damage, right? And it has the Hellstrike um, uh, racks, but you um, can replace those with the uh, with two vulture Gatling Cannons instead. So Wait, really? Yeah. What? what? <laughs> so you can get 40 shots? Yeah. So it's either you take the 40 shots or yeah. you take the four shots. That's amazing. Which one would you take? I like 40. Yeah, I think the other one's only AP2. What? So, you know what I mean? Wow. wow. Is that like even a choice? No. Um, no, 40 shots is way cooler. 
And with the AP, like, anything can... with that amount of DACA is and, pretty and serious. It's strength five. Yeah. Okay, so you're over that threshold as well. Exactly. So, like, you can legit shoot anything, and it'll be it'll be fine. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so the Gatling cannons are ten points each, so it goes to flat two hundred. It's only two hundred. It's cool for forty shots. I'm digging it. I don't know anything at forty shots one AP that has quite that that yeah. volume, right? Yeah. And you're hitting uh, on fours? Yeah, you used to hit on threes. Yeah, yeah, in that um, brief moment. Uh, had the old profiles. The and planes then... won't get doctrines. You won't get the one. Oh, the planes don't get doctrines. No. Oh, no, that's a shame. Okay, so um, you do have to take some other tank killing. This is like for clearing. Uh, yeah, this is just infantry. for mass killing. Yeah, mass okay. clearing. Um, I, I remembered that. Why uh, don't you get the, the doctrine? Yeah, everything else. Because they're not part of your regiment. They're, they're not part, part of the regiment. The, they're the aeronautica. Like you were saying earlier. Yeah. yeah okay, okay, okay. Um, they don't get the regiment keyword. Yeah, that's right. Well, that's lame. Um, that is, that is lame, but I think they, <laughs> I, I hope they actually kind of address things like that. They might, yeah. Because the Air Forces deserve their, they deserve to have, you know, chapter tactics as well. That would break the lore, Brian. They would never do that. They could have their own chapter, though. Yeah, yes. I'm fine with them they getting their own. You could, you as long as it's a minus one AP. Yeah. As long as it's a minus one AP, I'm okay with it. Yeah, exactly. So what, how many infantry do we actually have here? Oh, gosh. So this is everything, yeah? I think, you know what, there's Making a lot sure. of packing peanuts in here. Okay. We'll be sure, we'll be um, careful. I see a little red piece in there. Under that bubble, so we'll make sure we get that. All right, so let's count. There's a lot here. of packing peanuts. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, the little red one, piece was uh, <laughs> a piece of a uh, piece of one of the wings here. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, the resin does uh, does suffer a little it's bit. Just, yeah. Four drills. One thing, you know what? I'm curious. I didn't take when uh, when I ordered this army is yeah. I didn't order any of the uh, heavy hotshot weapons. Um, What's that? I've never even... Yeah, it's a heavy four, um, higher strength uh, hotshot. Weird. Um, what does it look like? Like a galley? Um, the actual weapon uh, is good question. I actually don't know what the actual weapon looks like. Um, let me here. I'm j I'll show you the profile of it for a second, though. Yeah, and you sounds can, good. You can tell me what you think. I, I'll take it. Because I hate, I really hate taking move and shoot penalties. Right. Um, on an army that's like always going to be moving, right? Um, so it's been something that I was just kind of trying to avoid. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And we have that squad up there 80. too. I was like, you lied. There's not 80. 80. So yeah, what's it called? It's called the Hotshot Volley Gun. Oh, so it's heavy okay. four, or it's heavy four, strength four, AP two, one damage. That's weird. Yeah, and it's like when you put that on, in, the, in the regular squad. So you can do this instead of uh, instead of a plasma or instead of a melta. You could do this thing. Strength four. Yeah. What a weird gun. And yeah. It's heavy. Yeah. That's well, it's like a heavy las gun. Yeah. If you were to imagine yeah. a heavy las gun, that's what it would be. <laughs> you know what? You're not wrong. That's the weirdest gun I've ever heard. Yeah. So I don't, I'm not really. No. Yeah. Take the plasma. Yeah. Or something else. I'm. I'm. The yeah. meltas, right? That's another thing. Do you think uh, you'll be? Chat loves them though. They so look so sick. Maybe right? you have to get some. The, oh, those. Things. They love the hot shot volley guns, <laughs> oh, right? That's weird. So I'm. Hoping that when this army gets a new book that they become interesting. That's true. And if they did, I would order like a couple squads of them maybe yeah. if they were cool. Um, as of now, I don't have any. Yeah. Um, but I'll definitely I'll definitely be getting more of this. This is like my initial order oh, for yeah. this army, right? <laughs> um, I'll definitely be getting more. Yeah. Um, I might like let's say I, w I really wanted to do even more Melta or something. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's the way to go. Mm -hmm. um, I only have four Torox. That's, I know. That's you could, tragic. You could always do more Torox. Well, this is an army that it's very much like uh, Harlequins, where you, you have all these different kinds of builds and all these kinds of special weapons that it, you have to kind of just pick a starting point. Yeah. But you could very easily, yeah, find that something's more interesting or whatever and then have That's to true. kind of just buy more of those models so you have the alternate loadouts. Um, so, you know, 80 is just the beginning. It is. It is a good sure. beginning. And uh, as I said, I'll flesh out the Air Force. Yeah. Um, I've been threatening to buy a bunch of, like, Marauders. Yes. Um, and I think it would be fun to add them to this Air Force here. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I th even just every so often, like as a, as a centerpiece, that would be, yeah, all, that exactly. would be a lot of fun. It'd be so cool. Um, yeah, we should definitely have one in the class. So Marshall, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> marauder time! Yeah, we got to get... The question is, okay, there's the, there's the really big <laughs> Marauder bomber, uh -huh. right? Um, I'm trying to decide, like, it's, it's a lot of points these days. Are there two types of... Yeah, I thought there was. Uh, okay. I thought there was the Marauder bomber and the... the Fighter, but I maybe think I'm one wrong. One might be gone now. Or something, something weird like Don't that. I'll bet they got merged into one data sheet, and it's options on. So the Marauder Bomber and Marauder Destroyer. Oh, okay. So um, they're twenty wound flyers. So it's not actually that much. 
Like, they can go down. Yeah. Um, and there are a ton of points. Like, yeah. let me show you how many points uh, the Marauders are. Probably too many, whatever it is. <laughs> I know. It's going to be so sad. So 320 and oh. 350. Okay. What do they do? <laughs> um, and, uh, they drop yeah. bombs, Adrian. Yeah. Yeah, they have... Uh, they have an Evi bomb. They have Evi bomb and an infer or an Inferno bomb. Ah, yeah. Which, you know, they're pretty good bombs. Um, they're... they're I, I don't know. They're cool models, though. And the destroyer is really more of a, a gunboat, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Neither of them have a transport capacity, which I think would be fun if you could have just like your whole army. Yeah, yeah. In, in one a bomber, yeah. if you had to give up the bombs, maybe. Yeah. Like they're in the bomb They've just area. They're, no, they're in the bombs, actually. Oh, oh. Well, these guys yeah. drop with grab shoots, so you could you could like load them into the bomb racks and then just like <laughs> drop them out. This doesn't sound very safe. <laughs> I don't think anything they do is safe. <laughs> yeah. They're shooting hot shot yeah. weapons. <laughs> that uh, also they drop they drop with grav shoots. They're all definitely like uh, adrenaline junkies for sure. They absolutely yeah. are. They they like to do like uh, drops from space. I so like these little telephone guys. The little tel and that's the funny thing. If you look at the Vox, it is just an old school telephone. It is. It's like an old school. It is not even like a cell phone. No. It is actually it's like, like a wired. Oh, it's so big. It is phone. a it is a corded phone it's that so like good. my grandparents. The receiver is huge. <laughs> There's no reason for the receiver to be that big. Yeah, I love it. Communications in the 41st yeah. uh, is really poor. It's you the know. idea that all of these guys just don't have radios built into their headsets. <laughs> into the headsets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. They got to go like find a guy that has a phone. They're like, yeah. hey, do you have a phone? Do you have yeah. a phone? I need to talk to the commander somewhere. <laughs> and actually, the thing is, like, under in his wrist, he pops it open, and it's actually like a yeah, it's a, a rotary, rotary dial. <laughs> yeah. And then he like he's like, it's they're getting the the chaos are charging them, yeah. and he's like. Just dials the wrong one at the last. Yeah. He's like, ugh. He's, like, he's got to like reset the whole thing, <laughs> <laughs> and then a chainsaw just cuts him in half. So that's pretty much what yeah. a box is. Sounds about right. Um, I'm liking it. So sorry. That's yeah. I'm so trying to decide. Like <laughs> this army needs some sort of centerpiece. Now I know it's not a scion, like, but uh -huh. if I already have like an air force, yeah, then yeah. adding that is like. I think a, it's super cool. Well, they don't. The, that's like the whole thing is they don't have a centerpiece, right? They're yeah. like the most distributed force you can think of, right? So I think that's really cool. Um, they're both cool. The bomb is a bit more unique and also has some like legitimately interesting. I wonder uh, if it's magnetizable. Values. That's what I so this is, looks like it's a, it's the same hole, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know, can you buy the same kit or do you I have think to... it's the same kit. Oh, okay. It then, might be. Then that's super interesting. That's another thing to note, guys. Um, you know, so as a, as a fellow commission painter, yeah. this is like mega props for doing this. because uh, it's like so much extra work to paint all the extra bits and then also magnetizing. That's a really, yeah. really nice touch. Um, so this is super, super cool, and it's something you always want to be able to if you can. Uh, and even if you're obviously not like getting a commission painter, save your bits. You know, we're coming around, we're getting the updates for the new codexes, so I guarantee some of these things that are not the best will probably be interesting. That's again, exactly right? right. When you're getting an army commission prior to their codex coming out, yeah. you should magnetize everything, yeah. because you have no idea what's going to be good. Exactly. Um, in this case, you know, plasma is plasma, and I know yeah. how it works. Mm -hmm. Melta is Melta, I know how it works. Exactly. So those things are not going to be surprising. The hotshot volley gun, for instance, is the kind of thing that's like not quite yeah. great, so it's hard to know it what change. what'll change with that. Yeah. Um, I would I would be I would want it to either get one more strength, yeah. or not be heavy. Yeah, exactly. One more strength, one more damage would be cool. There's a strat with the hotshot volley yeah. gun oh, okay. to get plus one strength to all last guns in the unit. And it's a la it's and a, it is a it laser. Whatever the categories yeah. that they use, but. Like, who cares? So it goes to strength five, and all your last guns go to strength four. Yeah, so you're hitting on fours, though. It's like not He's that hitting exciting. He's on fives, isn't he? Oh, these guys hit on, hit on threes? Threes. Oh, because yeah. they're elite. Okay, okay. Yeah. And the rest of the squad is hitting on threes with strength four now. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool, but I think it's almost cool, like, despite the heavy hot. hot, hot That's shot. what I'm trying to say. Like, if you just do it to the a regular normal guns are unit, good. <laughs> yeah, I think, it's, I think it's more interesting. But I, but I also, you know, not to be too much of a hater about it, I think because it's like kind of not the best rules, we're likely to see an update to that. Like I think right. we've seen that over and over again. The worse something is, the better it, it, it often yeah, gets. Yeah, exactly, right? That's, that's, that's definitely true. Um, These are great. I think um, I will be able to use the vast majority of these models in a 2,000 point army. Um, yeah, they're probably cheaper than I think. Yeah, wise. absolutely. The flyers, obviously like, this is probably not that much. It's the flyers that add up quick. The flyers do add up quick. Right. But you can nice thing is you could take them in detach or like in squads. Mm -hmm. So you can actually have six planes in a single battalion because uh, right. you have two flyer slots, right? It's two flyer slots. Yeah. You could take them up to three in a squad. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. What? That's saucy. So you should do it. It's pretty great. Yeah. You guys want to do some super chats? Yeah. Let's yeah, do it. Let's do it. All righty. Thank you, Brian. Got some scions to be uh, an entourage for my Inquisitor. They look sick. Nice. If they came in for April Fools, you should play them with orc rules. 
With orc rules. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> we should play them against orcs. We should have a uh, flyer fight. That would that'd be, be That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, well, very cool. Congrats. Thank you, Ranok. I have 2,000 point land in Lion's Army, double down into Torox Primes, and soup in a patrol of custodies to sit on objectives. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, that's custodies, custodies, I think, do pair with them nicely yeah. um, because they solve problems for custodies, and then uh, custodies solve problems for them. So it's, it's a perfect marriage, really. <laughs> that's uh, right. It it's really goes very well. Mm -hmm. I dig it. All right, thanks, Super Reedy. Hey, guys. Hope you're... Wait, what? No sweater? What's going on? I'm so stunned. I have no pun. <laughs> That's got nothing to do with me finding out this vid was happening an hour to, uh, an hour ago. <laughs> Honest. I brought a sweater. Yeah. And were, then it disappeared in the like, studio. Where's my sweater? Like it's gone. It's lost. Yeah. In the studio. It's the studio has consumed a sweater. Is that it right there? No, that's my sweater. Oh. Yeah. So I I don't know. I had it. And I was Very like strange. even feeling a teeny bit chilly. I was I like know. I'm gonna put my sweater on and nope couldn't find it. Rough man. No sweater yeah. for you, Brian. Yeah. Well, thanks, Super Eating. <laughs> Thank you, William. Well done. By making a video about this unboxing, buying the army counts as a business expense. Ah, there you <laughs> go. That's right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted we wanted to share it. Uh, as as torturous as it has been the last couple of days, just seeing the box and knowing that we can't open it. Yeah. Um, this is fun to do. It's great. So, it's a lot you. of fun. Very cool. Thank you, Jeremiah. I play Jackals, Scions. They break the opponent's morale. Yes. And I soup six Armagers, four Warglaves, and two Helverins. Fearsome Aura on Armager Warlord. That's really That's cool awesome. Play. So what the jackals do is every model uh, that's slain counts as two for morale. Oh. It can add up. That's actually interesting. Yeah. So you could do this thing where you get this efficiency where you just split fire like crazy yeah. and then hope that they suffer some morale. Right. In my opinion, it was better in 8th edition rules mm -hmm. where you yeah. could force the whole unit to die. Now, you just... Almost, like you could force one unit to flee mm -hmm. and then then to take an attrition. Right. That could be good against big big squads, yeah, yeah. but it's not as good against um, smaller squads. Interesting. Like you used yeah. to be able, like you know, maybe you can make those last two Space Marines flee, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. but now it's not as easy to do that. Yeah, that's right? interesting. Especially when they ignore the attrition negative and things things like that. Yeah. Yeah, those darn Space Marines. Yeah, I love with the Armagers too. That's like the Armagers is a good pairing with thematic. them too. Yeah. yeah. That's it. I think any Imperial tough guys yeah, yeah. pair really well with these it's guys. It's so cool. Right? Yeah. They work well. Thank you, Alistair. No question. Just want to send appreciation for Adrian's plane noises. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't resist. I can't Mel was it. very disappointed with you. Yeah, that's, that's yesterday. All I have to say. <laughs> if you haven't seen yesterday's game, there were some toy noises that there. That got clipped, and it's amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I haven't seen I it haven't yet. Really it's a great today. clip. <laughs> Thank you, KP. Titans, great timing on grabbing the vultures for the Scions, as Forge World made it no longer available recently. Yeah. For matchup, oh. Orcs, Eldar, or GSC are my picks. Ooh, GSC, that would be a fun one. Those are all cool. Those are all cool. Those are all good picks. Yeah, actually. Yeah, those yeah, are yeah. great picks. Because we struggle to find good opponents for GSC, and I think Scions, pure Scions against GSC, would be interesting. The Flyers, like, kind of... Don't bring the Flyers. Table... What? Yeah. Don't bring my Flyers! I was like... <laughs> <laughs> but the... Yeah. Yeah. Because the GSC famously uh, uh, don't have good enough shooting to drop a single flyer, mm -hmm. not yeah. even three, yeah, yeah, just yeah. like one. Right. And the other problem is that um, they the flyers they can't charge the flyer. Yeah. And also the flyers screen them out mm -hmm. really really well. Yeah. And then when you have flyers that have forty DACA, <laughs> well, don't bring the flyer. That's what I'm saying. Like the, the ground forces. Is like Against points? each other. Yeah, this is like a thousand cool. points. Yeah, so <laughs> we could play a thousand point game, Brian. What? I did. I did once mental onslaught a vulture to death, though. It was amazing. Well, maybe you could do it again three more times. <laughs> yeah, having said that, <laughs> <laughs> um, but that that would be the crux of that matchup, right? Like mm -hmm. you would have to be. You would play this game where you're hiding, yeah. and you're trying to stay on points, yeah. and you would just try to not engage and never be shot or or. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. The, it would be this really cagey thing that you have yeah. to do, and I would be, like, patrolling, finding yeah. angles. <laughs> and I'd have to be careful to, like, never go into hover mode. Mm -hmm. Oh, for <laughs> or sure. Or they just swarm. Yeah. <laughs> I still don't know how they charge in hover mode, but well, whatever. You're hovering, and they climb on your plane. That's well, it. They you're, do the... You're uh, hovering, they, but you're also hovering, like, really, really close to the ground, I yeah. guess? Yeah. You basically landed. Yeah. That's and the they thing. just jump on. They do that, uh, uh, that zombie movie thing where they climb on top yeah. of each other yeah, to get yeah, up yeah. to you. That's true. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> if you don't make plane noises while moving them, they instantly crash, by the way. That's and the rules, rule. no blah, 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 for real. Yeah. Not a lot of people know that rule. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Yeah, you could call them out of tournaments. It's true. <laughs> they encourage you to try. You didn't make a plane noise. <laughs> <Yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> that was the rules. Judge! 
Thank you, Super ED, putting it out there that only the model with the stash should get the name. The clean shaven one doesn't get to have any fluff. <gasps> yeah, when he earns it, we cut his head off and glue on a head with a mustache. Yes, or we just you guys put... missed the. This was Super ED, guys. What? Oh, uh, it was the, a pun. The pun was good. Fluff. Yeah. yeah mustache. Yeah, yeah. Fluff. So he's actually wearing a helmet, so I think we should do the mustache on top of the helmet. Right. When he when he earns his name. Oh, it's like a glued on. It's a very clear. Or no, glued it's it's almost mustache. like a like a war paint. Like it's just like <laughs> war painted mustache. Oh, that could be cool. And they see him in com like the chaos swords charging at him, and he like the paint like the <laughs> light glints off the mustache, and he's just like nope nope nope. nope. <laughs> Not the mustache one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. If you have. Or if you want a heavy air force, go 55th Capic Eagles, plus one to hit after disembarking. Ignore heavy weapon penalties. I run them with Sentinels. That's cool. Yeah, that is that I is good. Make the, uh, volley That's guns how you make cool. your hotshot volley gun. Yeah. That's true, but the one thing that's like, you, you're really, really, really doubling down on this, I have one turn to win, mm -hmm. um, which is what this army is all about, right? And uh, yeah, that's exactly the Captic Eagles. Um, Captain. Cool. Yeah, Capic Eagles. They don't suffer the penalty for moving fighting heavy, which is good if you have those those other guns yeah. that we're talking trash about. And then um, they get plus one to hit when they come out of any transport. So this is basically saying I'm gonna have this one turn, mm -hmm. and I'm just gonna like really, really could wreck be you. Toroxes. Yeah, and then you could get you could try to get back into them afterward and try it again. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> it's like I cleared everyone, yeah. and they're like, "Get back in, folks!" And then inside, they're just like yeah. playing loud music to hype them up. They're like, yeah. "We're gonna do it! Let's do this again! Kick open the door!" Ah! <laughs> <laughs> and he's just watching. Like, yeah, what are they doing? Are they doing? Yeah, they that? get in the 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 bus, and it just starts shaking. Yeah. And then they're all like, "Uh!" <laughs> and the doors kick open. <laughs> so the Capic Eagles are I just party it. animals. They are party I mean? animals. <laughs> All right, this is uh, last one for today, I think. Thank you, Brian. Hear me out. Well, Get a Crassus, fill it with Bulgrin, and a Melta Squad. Mm. What's a Crassus, Brian? A Crassus? How does it with spell? With a C. C-R-A-S-S-U-S. -S -S. Oh. A Crassus? Oh, here it is. Crassus. Crassus. Uh, we should Google this thing. So it holds 35 Astro Militarum models. This sounds large. And uh, It's only 20 wounds, though. Uh, yeah, and an Ogren. <laughs> only 20 wounds. And an Ogren takes up three. Yeah, it's only 20 wounds, which actually for holding 35 is like not so much. It's like a mega chimera. Look at it, it's literally a giant chimera. <laughs> That's so weird. Wait, wait, wait. Is this the one? This isn't that like uh, World War One boat that has the opening at the back? Go to the other pictures. Uh, because no. I thought they discontinued that. This one's just very yeah, similar. No, you're thinking of like the ram. Oh wait, it does have the World War One thing. Yeah, but the no other one was available. open topped. The other one was open topped at the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, it's in the book, so it only moves ten. Um, it is T8, three up save. Okay. I'm trying to ask like, how likely is it to die? Uh, like, because you do this thing where you'd push it forward. Yeah. And then you'd be like, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't die. Because yeah. then you roll for like 35 models, like. 22 oh, models no. die, you know? Um, and you just have to place them within three inches, which is really hard. Yeah. Um, it's a big hole, though. Yeah. It's, uh, it's cool. <laughs> so it's, uh, that's the risk. You need, you need something like this to always live for one full turn mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of whatever the opponent shoots at it. Right. And it's just not enough. It's not obscurable, either. If only it had 17 wins. <laughs> yeah, it's almost, it's a, it's a nerf to have those yeah. extra three wins. <laughs> we do have one more. Thank you, KP. Titans, I recommend looking at a pair of Thunderbolts or Ooh. Lightnings. Yeah, the yes. Thunderbolt Strike Fighters. Or Avenger Strikes over either Marauder types as they are Lords of War. Yeah, I love the... Um, yeah, small are dope. Flag. What's, is that the, thunder, the Thunderbolt? The Thunderbolt's not small. It's not small. No, yeah. they're dope. What's the smaller the flag, fighter one? He's, that's really cool. Lightning? Too. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, the Lightnings are, are smaller, for They're sure. They're so stylish. Here's, and there's the Avenger as well. That might yeah. be what you're thinking of. The yeah, Avenger yeah. is also very small. There's so much cool guard stuff in Forge. Um, yeah, but the I really, really like the Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt. as well. Yeah. Um, and what is it? It has the two nose autocannons. They're just called nose <laughs> autocannons. Nose autocannons. They're the um, nose, Brian. So it's eight, eight autocannon shots, which is like, okay. And then the Thunderbolt twin last cannon. Um, eh, it, it's like, it's Daka is just not there. Like, I just want more dots. It's just two last cannons. Yeah. It's Why is two. it the Thunderbolt twin last cannon? Uh, TM. They did, the, they did all of those just in case they eventually chose to change last cannons. Oh, uh, yeah. Right, and right, And they right. didn't want these people to benefit from that yeah, yeah, because yeah. they're just, like, mean. It's messed up. Yeah, it is messed I up. I mean, right? that is how they, they famously had issues with that in the past. You're like, well, technically, this is They did it with the Tau when the, this this, the yeah, burst yeah. cannon was on the flyer. And then they're like, the Riptide burst cannon is going to be awesome now. And then that flyer was like, uh... 
you know, I wait a second, I got two of those. <laughs> yeah. I'm two Riptides now. <laughs> and everyone was like, oh, jeez. That's amazing. And this, it was a, you paid nothing for that weapon because yeah. it, the, it was the worst of them all. Right, right. And all of a sudden it was like, great. Yeah. You know, 24 shots at damage too. Well, that's why I was worried about the, um, the fire after at first because everyone was like, heavy bolters going to be two damage. And then, like, well, actually, no, it was the contemptors as well. I was right. thinking about it. I was like, okay, please don't make them like contemptor heavy bolters that are still only one damage yeah. or something like that. They're from the dark age when bolters sucked. Yeah, <laughs> they could do it. <laughs> They've, they have done it. Yeah. Uh, so cool, though. Clearly. Yeah. yeah. I gotta add more planes. Definitely gotta add more uh, planes. Sounds I, like it. I kind of, it's sad at this point that they don't have air wing detachments. Yeah. You know? Uh, well, for this army, especially. No, nope. uh, I think the game is better without it, Brian. Well, no, I think they solved the air wing thing by not having minus two to hit. So you take this, I'll take my Eldar Flyers, and we'll play a game. Yeah. Oh, we should just have a dogfight. Remember dogfight missions? Yeah. yeah, it's sick. No, the, we could legit do that with orcs, but not with Eldar. The Eldar Flyers specialize in killing enemy flyers, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, so they would still really be hitting good. me on like twos. Yeah, yeah. rerolling like, ones. Rerolling re wounds. wounds. With, re with, yeah. Yeah, with uh, plane killing weapons, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh huh. So it was fine when you could And you would do a list. strafing run, and he would be above you. Yeah. Um, the uh, oh, how about this? You can only take uh, the hemlocks. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I can still I beat you though. Still He'd win. still win. I, can I know. Still yeah. win. <laughs> He'd still win, but it would at least be a game. You know what? I, one, one that I'm really sad about is the, the Phoenix Bomber. I have a Phoenix Bomber, and that's not even in this book anymore at all. Yeah, they made a lot of stuff legends. I never played it on the channel ever. It sucks. Well, do they have legends rules for it? Yeah, I'm sure they do. So break well, it out. We'll we can remedy that. Yeah, yeah, I've uh, I've definitely done some legends. Uh, we could do it. But anyways, yeah, we'll uh, we'll get these on the channel real soon. Well, obviously, this army will be on Tuesday. Yeah. But we'll, we might end up doing an air fight at some point. That'll yeah. I um, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm having a tough time. A lot of the things they proposed are, are good. We've we've had to watch out for the, the planes with the GSC, as we've said. But what were the other ones that were suggested? Orcs, right? Orcs. That, that could work for sure. Yeah. This army has sure. uh, uh, an interesting matchup there. Yeah. And Eldar was the other one. Yeah. Eldar could definitely work as well. Not Drukari, but... No, we're yeah. talking craft world. Craft world. Yeah. yeah. Assyriani. Assyriani, yeah. Mm, that's right. That's, those, those sound like good bets. Those are the top two picks. Um, I, we usually try to find a third to vote between, but those are two very solid ones. Well, GSC was their third, but... But they, we, we know they're going to vote for that. They're going to try to troll the game. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, if you had to, like, if you were tailoring against planes, what's the best you could do? With what? GSC? GSC. If you had, like, is a it like mining, hand like, Is mining laser is your best? I mean, it's the only way you can really deal with it. Because realistically, like, you're right. You're right uh, about the way I'd have to play the game. Yeah. But with it, with almost any board, you can't play the game that way. Yeah, yeah, so, right. So, um, funny enough, I right. have a vulture. It, it used to work GSC. when there was. Uh, it used to work when they were when you were fully enclosed. It was great. That but was now, actually a but perfect matchup. But now you matchup. can't. Yeah, like yeah. I'm in boxes. I win. You. That's yeah. it. Right. Um, but now, not at all. Uh, right. So yeah, laser, uh, mining lasers and. That's it, right? Hand flamers. Hand flamers, Hand flamers. Hand flamers. Hand flamers are yeah. strength. Three. Three. So Three they were not sixes. sixes. It's not a thing. Uh, remember what, how many ones I did against your Telamon? I don't. It was. <laughs> it's more just than enough I thought. shots. More than you thought. <laughs> it's enough shots that winning on sixes will matter. It, it's like, not. It'll, it'll get through. It's not. It's it, not. Yeah, I don't shots. think it is. I and like they're more expensive now than they used to be. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. yeah. And keep in mind. So he takes like four wounds off a plane, and then a hundred percent of them die. Like what? What did he get out of that? Mm -hmm. So the mining laser is the only answer. How many mining lasers does it take to kill one plane? Ooh, a ten? lot. Like because remember ten? How, so you know how I'm always struggling to give them the plus one to hit because they miss. Okay. And I have another minus one to hit, and they're gonna they're gonna miss. <laughs> uh, certainly the three ridge runners. What if we had guard on guard? Guard on guard. Like traditional guard. Oh, you want to be here all night? Yeah. Against... <laughs> well, I mean, this is like pretty elite. Yeah, it's more elite. And than they'll pick guard. up the guard squads. It's not like we're gonna be sitting around moving guard squads all night. Didn't we just I think play it could guard? Be interesting. We did. I'm looking at the other armies. I'm moving on. Demons. Demons. Maybe. We we didn't we said not demons specifically because of the um, Oh yeah, the screening. <laughs> no, it's not the screening, it's the uh, the the fact that AP just doesn't matter anywhere. That's this whole army's yeah, we want to show fun, AP. cool thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it could be a space marine. We could do a space marine, we just have to tone it down. Um, we'd have to bring like horrible space fists. marines like fists. It could be fists. <laughs> uh, which love killing vehicles, jokes on you. Um, that would be awesome. You funny enough, our thing. White Scars collection would be really bad against this. Yeah. Um, although you remember how well I dropped your orc planes with my heavy pistols? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I true. was like, I have heavy pistols. <laughs> Goodbye, orc planes. I was plane. like, I'm fine. And then like more heavy pistols kept coming in, coming yeah. in. I was like, ah. But that would be, it would be similar to the GSC in a sense where it's like they would have to just own the ground and take the beating. Mm -hmm. 
Um, the difference is they like they could. That's right. They actually could <laughs> yeah, take the beating. Yeah. Um, so that that, that actually could sure. be something that could that could fly as well. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we could take Chaos Space Marines just because they suck. Chaos Space Marines would get wrecked. Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like this is kind of the, one of the perfect armies for them. It's like really got their number. The Obliterators will do work for sure. Right. They're taking at least two planes out of turn, so that would probably be too good. Conversely, right? Obliterators are amazing. They're amazing. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. We'll All right. That. Well, we're we're gonna we're gonna put the uh, we're gonna put the vote up. We'll definitely look through the chat and find uh, uh, find your recommendations. Yeah, for sure. Um, but I'm really excited to play this army. Really, really excited. And again, big thank you to Marshall Peterson mm -hmm. and uh, Holy Terra Gaming. Holy Terra Gaming. Holy Terra Gaming. Awesome. Uh, check him out. He's a really great painter and a really great guy. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, this will be played on Tuesday, which is members only game. Yeah, that's so right. If you want to check it out, be a member. Otherwise, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Ultramarines versus something else. It's Magnus. Magnus and his friends, that's right. That's right. All right, we'll catch you guys next time on the Tabletop.